Welcome to Icon Coaching. My name's Kirk and I'm one of the coaches. The key is to get started. It's not uncommon for me to be presenting goal setting as an idea, something we're going to work on with a client. And I'll hear the line, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really good. I've, I've never been good at goal setting. Here's the thing. I think everyone's good at goal setting. The psychologists tell us that all behavior is motivated. It's all goal oriented. That says to me, if you're behaving in the world, if you're doing things in the world, you're after something, you've got goals. I think we've been challenged over time to hit our goals. It's as if there's a target out in the future and we've been told you need to hit a bullseye. We know what good goals are. They're concrete and specific. They're measurable. You can verify it. They're time bound. You can answer the question, did I hit it? Yes or no. We've also been told that yes is the only acceptable answer. And it's been backed up with our bonuses and our paychecks and even being fired at times because you kept missing your goal. Today, I want to tell you that there are no bullseyes in life. When setting a goal, you're talking about the future. It's where all the uncertainty lives. It's where the most accurate answer to any question is, it depends. And when setting goals, that answer isn't as helpful as we hope it is. I want you to imagine that you're standing in, a, in w wherever you currently are in time. And you're looking out into all the directions that you could go from that spot that you are. Over there is a huge field. It's Maybe it's like 40 acres. But surrounding you is the entire expanse of the world. But you start to hone in on that field over there. And then you, you take out a piece of paper and you draw a goal on it. Imagine it's a target. And you know it's a target because it has a bullseye. And, and you walk it in your mind out into that distant field. And there's a barn in this field. And you staple it to the side of the barn. And there it is. The big bullseye on the broad side of a barn in the middle of a 40 acre field. And then you stand back here where you are in time. And now you've got to shoot at that target. And you get nervous. It's so far away. Maybe this is two or three years into the future. And you intuitively know you can't hit that bullseye. So many things are going to happen along this journey that are going to be require pivots and course corrections where things are going to get modified. And you're going to get knocked off course. And instead of shooting at it, you just, you just eliminate it. You get rid of it. Because why? Because I'm not good at setting goals. No, because you're not good at hitting bullseyes. But I already told you there's no bullseyes in life. Nobody's hitting bullseyes. And then you look back and I say, so go ahead and shoot. Go for it. See what happens. And you say, but I can't even hit the broad side of the barn. At which point I will say to you, awesome. But can you hit the 40 acres that the barn is in? Because if from two or three years you shoot and you hit out here into those 40 acres and that's where your arrow lands or your bullet lands or you land, if that's what happens, I'm going to call that a huge win. That's fantastic because you stood here in this moment and you looked out into all the possible futures that you could create and you picked that field and then you picked that barn and then you put a target on the barn and then you intended to go in that direction and you did and you missed the target, you missed the barn, but you hit the field. It's amazing. And what I've seen time after time after time is that when that person is standing now in this field, Nobody cares that they missed the barn. We celebrate the journey. We celebrate this accomplishment because it's amazing. In fact, we literally say you're outstanding in your field.